Hello, everyone, and happy Wednesday. It is Wellness Wednesday with myself, Marlo Boyle, Education Director for Intelligent IN, and I have a very special guest with me today. I'm excited. I was very excited to meet her when I first came on board early last year. Um, this is Ms. Janelle Schroeder. She is for us here at Intelligent. She heads up all of our regulatory affairs, our certification and document control, as well as uh, is our research and essential oil specialist. She does a lot of stuff. She has <clears throat> a lot of information stored in her, and I do really enjoy having conversations with her because um, we uh, have so much common ground in our topics uh, of passion. And today's topic is one of them. Um, we're going to be focusing in our short session today of inspiration around Organic Beauty Week and the Soil Association. And Janelle will be sharing information around that. Um, Janelle has been an expert in our company since 2006 and has continued to really help us bring all of our choices for uh, ingredients that we use in our formula, the standards and our ethos continues to push us and to keep us aligned uh, with all that we hold ourselves accountable to. So um, we are very, very fortunate to have Janelle uh, on our team and our company and really being a driving force behind um, so much of what happens in our formulas and uh, what our brand ethos stands for. So thank you, Janelle, for being with us. I'm very excited to have you here. Thank you, Marlo. It's good to be here. That's a yeah. great Thank you for the <laughs> nice introduction. Well, I mean it. So um, we're talking about Organic Beauty Week. This has been going on all week. We're kind of in the middle of it. Um, and it's being led by soil associations. So could you share with us who is Soil Association and what is their role in the beauty industry uh, and how do, we, well, how do we play a part in that? Sure, so Soil Association is a nonprofit located in the UK and they um, actually have been in the organic world for a very long time. They wrote the very first agricultural organic standard back in 1946. Hmm. So they are also authorities um, on this area. Now, that was an agricultural standard. The personal care product standard for um, organic or natural labeling uh, didn't come about until much later. And actually, we're talking about the Cosmos standard that Soil Association is a part of creating. And that standard, um, we started using it, I want to say 2013 is when we started uh, launching skincare uh, under Soil Association's um, and Beauty standard and then followed up switching to the Cosmos standard, which is a, a more robust standard that includes um, standards that were also private standards um, in Europe. They brought together five different standards and made them into one more cohesive standard that made more sense for the consumer. Because at the time when you went to the shelf and you could see, and you have it today still actually, you see all these little symbols on packaging and you don't know what all they mean. And you've got a kid in tow who's screaming and you're like, I, how do I, what, does it even, have, I don't know. Right. Um, but we found that, uh, so then, you know, Soil Association and us, we all found that it would be better if there was one cohesive standard that makes more sense for uh, personal care products because agricultural standards, let's be honest, are for food ingredients mm -hmm. and for food purposes, right? Sure, sure. And they don't allow for the things that we need in personal care, for example, foaming or conditioning, things sure. that you normally find in food. Well Imagine that. <laughs> I'm going to cleanse myself with some watermelon. <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. nobody wants to, you know, eat so poor. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah, exactly. So, um, so with the with Soil Association, the Cosmos standard is a big, 
it's a big standard that it's a big certification and I know it's one of the strictest in the world. And when I first came to really learn about it, it was beyond impressive to me. The standards that they hold uh, manufacturers to or product suppliers to in the beauty industry. Yeah. Um, and it's much stronger, obviously, than than what we are held to here in the United States. So it, it's um, it's a big deal that we choose to hear it intelligent uh be held accountable like we pay to be certified by this yes yeah, so they come there's an annual audit they mm -hmm. audit us they audit our manufacturing partners as well and uh, ensure that we are following all of the points of the standard so um, what the standard does is promote the use of organic agricultural and uh, agriculture and respecting biodiversity it use, requires using natural resources responsibly and respecting the environment. Mm -hmm. um, the, the processing and manufacturing and even the way we clean up after a production run is monitored and regulated. And also they suggest that you integrate and develop the concept of green chemistry, which you know is something that is um, becoming more and more of a talking point mm -hmm. chemistry, um, which green chemistry involves considering all points of impact on the environment, the critters involved, people, everybody, and not just, um, it, it, it involves looking at gaining those resources to make the ingredients, the, the processing, the packaging, and what is happening once it gets out into the market, mm -hmm. that's what green chemistry uh, entails. So it's really great that this standard actually encourages the use of green chemistry where I don't know of any other standard in the world that says that. Yeah, I mean, that's a big deal. And um, which will lead me to my second question for you in just a second, but it's important that as a manufacturer, as a company, for us here at Intelligent, we really want to be and have educated our customers of our transparency and showing that green chemistry and why we choose not only to be certified uh, through the Cosmos standard, why we choose to create the formulas that we do. So my question then would be, why is it so important for us uh, to be using, choosing and using certified uh, organic as well as natural uh, plant sources or raw materials? Right. So that's a very good question. And um, it's not a super easy answer, but yet it is. Basically, when you are forced to pay attention to the environment and your um, all of your inputs going from, like I said, from like seed all the way through harvest to mm -hmm. how you process it in, um, in, in to being used for an, um, an ingredient in a personal care product. Every step along the way, when you're certifying to natural and organic, it is proven by a third party that you are doing what you say you're doing. And it helps you um, standardize it in a way because... I mean, I just said standard, but keep it uniform. Let's put it that way across a group of people agreeing that by doing it this way, we're, we are um, not causing a detriment to the environment, that we are actually improving the soil health, that, you know, hello, the standard is being certified to us by Soil Association, right? There. Right. right. You that, um, you know, we're paying a little bit more attention and not just picking, you know, there are a lot of ingredients out there that are, that appear to be the same. It, it, mm -hmm. it, it can be manufactured in a lab or it could be grown naturally out in the environment. When we're doing that, we are not putting as many chemicals into the ground. We are, um, you know, helping the biodiversity right there in the soil, keeping space for the critters. Mm -hmm. Because we all know that everything that we, put into the ground, comes back out, and then there's a CO2 carbon exchange. There's a lot of things that go into, um, into the, uh, I guess, improving your sustainability footprint by just being 
aware for one, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, like following a standard, being fully transparent. I mean, our sleeves are up. We show you everything by going to this third party and having them verify everything that we say we're doing. And what's great about this particular standard is anybody can go online and read exactly what it is that we're following. Exactly. There are other standards out there like um, the Natural Product Association standard. That one, it's it's behind a paywall. You know, you have to pay in order to access that standard. How is that being transparent? I mean, we can say some bullet points about what it's doing, but it doesn't really show um, the consumer all of the steps we have to take in order to earn that seal. Yeah, for sure. And it's interesting that you talk about... I want to say, too, that... Um, sometimes our products don't achieve that seal, but that's, that doesn't mean we aren't looking at those ingredients and choosing the ones that are following the standard to the highest degree possible. Yeah. And so I'm glad you say that. And then another thing that you said leads me, will lead us to our last question, but, um, we do speak about that when we're educating to our customers and even on our websites, uh, that we, even if our products, so for say, uh, our stylers um, and the fact that we do use performance synthetics, but we also speak to that that entire formula deck has been has followed the standards of Cosmos so that we continue to support the ethos of what we believe in, which is supporting the environment and all of its biodiversity. Which then leads me to when you when we speak about soil association, when we speak about the soil itself, uh, and talking about why it's important to choose certified organic and uh, also choosing natural raw materials, raw sources. I was listening to a podcast the other day around uh, a little bit same vein, but it took it to a different level. But basically, speaking to the soil, it was a geologist and a biologist, uh, husband wife duo who were speaking about really repairing our soil uh, because what we grow in the soil for if you're choosing to uh, eat land animals, what they eat is what comes back out. And, and it's, a, it's a big, it was a far longer discussion and we're not gonna have that here. But what I wanna speak to is that healing the soil and choosing organic and choosing natural and being held accountable by an organization, a third party certifier that is looking to heal the soil. That is how we're taking a massive step in helping to heal the planet from climate change, which is where we're at right now. Um, And you keep mentioning all those little critters. There's a gazillion critters in healthy soil, all the microbiome, all the bacteria, all of the living organisms that all are necessary for plant health, which in turn that plant health creates a better ecosystem, which in turn it affects every living thing that's having uh, a party with that plant, whether it's us or whether it's themselves. So the benefits just even topically for us to use certified organic and natural and to have the standard uh, when you extract essential oils from plant materials in a natural way you are getting from it its blueprint as well as I always refer to it as like the energy around it or its kind of aura you get all of those chemical constituents which you cannot get when you synthetically duplicate using petrochemicals so all of that, that blueprint and all that energy is the compatibility your skin, your hair, your body look for, want, appreciate, and are happy to respond in kind to say, oh, wow, I recognize you beautiful blue tansy or you beautiful argon oil. And I dig it. Let's, let's work together and let's create I'm going to give you some healthy skin or healthier skin and some beautiful, right. strong hair. It so, feeds our own biome. Exactly. You know, it absolutely does. With so, good things. Right. We recognize each things. other, right? And they exactly. say, ooh, you're my buddy. Let's exactly. <laughs> exactly. So it's like, for me, we, we are a living organism. Why would I not want to put something that came from a true living source? Why would I not want to put that 
uh, in on my hair, skin, body. So those are the kind of products that we want to continue to and always have created to be able to offer a highly efficacious, high performing, fully safe product. That's a beautiful sensorial experience. And I want to highlight some of them uh, that fully have uh, uh, have the Cosmos uh, certification seal on them. Um, we have a, a, a list here. I'm going to hold them all up, but we're not going to talk about them because that's a different session altogether, but at least so you have a visual. So you have our um, soothsayer. I'm always trying to hold these in the proper way for the camera. Beautiful to see. My face. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm doing that. You can just holler out what their names are for me. Yeah, liquid green body oil. One of your new obsessions. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I had a, I have it on every single day. And what's this? One body hand bomb. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. And this is our. Oops, sorry. Let me move my finger. Here we go. Here, the, oh, that's our seed energy micellar water. One day I'll get this correct when I hold these up to the camera. <laughs> this is our pore polish. Pore polish. Yeah. I will see pore polish. That is an everyday item on my face. Everything. I'm not joking. Everything I'm holding up to you. I know, you know, right? Okay, so what's this? Time traveler? Vitality time traveler? Yes. You'd think I, you know, I have the camera right in front of me. You'd think I'd never held something up in front of a camera before, for gosh sakes. <laughs> what do we got there? Uh, this is the Regenerative Superpower C Serum. Oh, yes, C Serum. That's an awesome one with all the plant stem cells and vitamin C. Woohoo! Hydro Lotion, Seed Synergy Hydro Lotion. This is like. That one used to be USD organic. We switched preservatives, and that's the only thing that's different about that one. Still, that love is formula. love on my face. Yeah. And then this is the last one I have, which is. The eye gel? Yes, yeah, so the regenerative eye gel. Regenerative so that beautiful gel. reparative. So these. Uh, the Osmos. Say that again. Soon to be Cosmos certified with the green re revival eye whip. Rock on. We love that. So all of this information that Janelle and I have been talking about, you will find on our website blog. We've been featuring it all week. So www.i-nbeauty.com. You can go to our blog and we've got um, a constant uh, flow of information on there. You can also visit soil, is it soilassociation.com.org, soilassociation.org. You can learn all about that and um, their standards and what we hold ourselves to. And we'll always be talking about this information in our Wellness Wednesdays and ongoing sessions. So I thank you so much, Janelle, for being with me today and sharing your passion. And thanks for being um, on our team and just being this super passionate uh, leader and helping us uh, continue to stay the course, choose the best uh, path as we possibly can, and keeping us educated because your knowledge is amazing. There's always a lot going on. Um, there is on our website a section called Ask Janelle. So if you yeah. have questions on this kind of a topic, you can post, you know, submit them there and we will answer them for you. I forgot. That's so cool. Yes. I just was looking at it <laughs> yesterday. I'm like, ask Janelle. So yeah, please go to our site. You'll see it. You can go all the way, scroll to the bottom and it says ask Janelle right on there and you can pop That's it. That's me. In. I'm a real yeah. person. Yes, she is. yes, she is. <laughs> so thank you again, everyone. Um, we appreciate you and we'll see you next week. Be well. Be well.